everybody, it's Tony Cotaspati from the Great Vocal Majority YouTube channel and website. And of course, I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes today about the thing that's going on with all the uh, scuttlebutt about Comey being fired and, and the Democrats are insisting that this means that Comey was close to coming up with uh, some indictments or something that implicated Trump and the rest of his team uh, in some scandal involving Russia trying to influence the election. They have absolutely no evidence to prove this, none to even suggest it, but they're insisting on it. And it seems to me that what they're doing is, is that they're, they're screaming loud enough and often enough that they're convincing themselves that it's true, even though there's nothing upon which to base this. So I went back and I looked at how Comey got fired. And of course he got fired because Jeff Sessions recommended to Trump that he fire him and Trump agreed and fired him. But Jeff Sessions didn't do it on his own. Jeff Sessions was given that information by a guy named Rod Rosenstein or Rosenstein. I'm not sure exactly how it's said, but anyhow, it was given to him by a deputy. Now that deputy, Rod Rosenstein, was approved by the Senate for that position on April 25th, almost exactly, if not exactly, two weeks before Comey was fired. And the job he was taking over, that deputy attorney general post, is the post that oversees the FBI. So that is specifically the job he was approved to take. And what happened was he was approved in the Senate and with everything being so partisan nowadays, you would think that Rod Rosenstein was approved 52 to 48 or something close like that, a very partisan along party lines vote. No, no. He was approved 94 to 6. And you want to know the list of the people who didn't vote for him? I'll give it to you right here. It was Senator Blumenthal from Connecticut. He's the senator, if you remember, some years ago, uh, lied about being in Vietnam. He was never in Vietnam, but he talked about being a Vietnam War vet and he tried to get the vet vote and, you know, he was appealing to the vet vote by lying about his military experience. That's the quality of the characters that vote against Rosenstein. Then there was Cory Booker, who's really Obama light. He's the senator from New Jersey. Then uh, someone named Cortez Masto from Nevada. I guess that's the, the woman who replaced Harry Reid. Uh, I don't know anything about her. And then there's Kirsten Gillibrand from New York, who, you know, wishes she was Hillary Clinton, although I don't know why. And then there's uh, Kamala Harris from California. She's the class act that used the F-bomb in a public speech the other day, you know, and they get mad at, at Trump. <laughs> Anyhow, and then there's Elizabeth Warren, the blonde-haired, blue-eyed American Indian woman. Uh, so these are the six people who voted against Ro uh, Rosenstein being confirmed, all right? Now, keep that in your mind and realize that 42 other Democrats voted in this climate, voted for Rosenstein. Now, he was approved, and not only was he approved to do the job that I just told you he was approved to do, oversee the FBI, he was also charged with overseeing the Russia investigation. So what I'm telling you here is when Comey was fired, the person who recommended that he be fired was Rosenstein, the guy who was approved by 42 Democrats. So in order for the Democrats to believe that Comey was close to revealing something important about this Russia thing that we haven't seen any evidence on yet. They have to believe Rosenstein, the guy they voted for, is in on it. Does that make any sense? Does that make any sense to anyone? Well, let me say it differently. Does that make any sense to anyone who's sane? Because it doesn't make any sense to me. To me, it seems that the Democrats are doing what they... <laughs> They do almost invariably. They just rush to judgment 
to try to gain political points and panic the Republicans into doing something really stupid. And it works because the Republicans are really stupid. So they end up doing stupid things, but they shouldn't cave this time and neither should Trump. This guy, Rosenstein, wanted, wanted uh, Comey out of there for good reasons. Jeff Sessions looked at, looked at that assessment from Rosenstein, agreed with it, sent it on to Trump, who also agreed with it, and that's why Comey's out of his job. He's not out of his job because of some undefined uh, revelation that no one even knows about. I mean, th th this is insanity. And you have guys like Jeffrey Tubin, who really should be in a mental institution at this point, making comments that that he has no that, that bear nothing nothing close to reality that that uh, that Comey was close to something we don't know that and and now we have a guy in the job Rosenstein that the Democrats two weeks ago voted for because they trusted him but now what's going to happen I'll try to make a little prediction here you're going to see Rod Rosenstein crucified by Democrats and the media, but I repeat myself, and that's what's going to happen. I mean, they're going to slaughter this guy's reputation because they've got nothing else. And I don't understand it really because I think the Democrats aren't really winning anybody over. I think they're, they're just making the country more and more sharply divided. But I wanted to bring that to you, and I hope I've uh, gave you some information you didn't already have. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That would be great. Thanks. Take care.